1999, the first year they existed, I was uh, part of the team. Uh, once I got in there, uh, you know, all uh, hockey loyalty aside, it was a pretty neat place. You know, I'd been there many times to see basketball games or, or see the Leafs play. So it was pretty cool. And then to be underneath, kind of in the dress rooms where the other NHL teams have been and, you know, all the history that existed there, it was, it was pretty neat to be a part of that, even if it was just for a small time. From the championship game in 2000, I remember it was, uh, it was like, we were at the height of Toronto Rock success, and I just remember the place being packed. It only held about 15 and a half thousand people, or 16, compared to you know the new arenas that hold 20. And it felt like everybody was right on top of you. It was a hot, hot like late April or May day, and uh, inside was just baking hot with all the people in there. And then of course the game itself was pretty fantastic, with us scoring with a second to go to win it, and you know place being so berserk. Fans from like just behind our seats, they were just coming down onto the bench, and it was pretty crazy. It was kind of like chaotic, and the league was still in its infancy then, and that championship really uh, brought a lot of light to the game. Uh, you lose a bit of the, uh, the the acquaintance of playing at a place like Maple Leaf Gardens, and having the fans right on top of you, I think, is pretty cool. And I love the new buildings around the, around North America that they they've done a great job with them, but it does lack that you know, personal experience that, uh, that those old rinks had and yeah, they were a little beat up and they weren't quite as nice, but they had a lot of character and I think that spoke volumes of kind of lacrosse at that point, so it was a nice fit.